Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, and we are back again to play more of Xenosaga Episode 1. This is part 2 in the continuing playthrough of this game, and we had finished the tutorials, well, most of the literal tutorials. The A-line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. And now we're going to actually uh, get into the story of the game. Or at least what I think is the story of the game. Chief? Cosmos just kind of stands there a lot, so... Hey, She's Aaron, not really a character yet. Let's skip all 300 level processes and start from 400. Huh? 400? Chief, but that's... I feel pretty confident this Yeah, time. let's skip 300 and go right to but 400. Because 300 was Remember a good movie, but time? imagine if there were... 400 Spartans. more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Can't we at least test it out in objective mode? Yeah, so apparently Chief is a little, uh, evil Knievel type person. If something happens, I'll get myself out. Besides, you want to test it out as well, don't you? We spent all night building the native A-line protocol. So is that what the kids call it these days? That settles it. Let's get started. All right, then. Okay, but if, if you want to, happens, rewind the video and don't close your eyes up. and just I listen to what they're saying. It sounds very weird. Okay, no. Ooh, don't deviate from the program. Jeez. This is so typical of her. Will she ever stop to think about the hell I go through for her? Oh. Uh... The way you worry about Chief Uzuki all the time. I'm surprised you haven't killed over already. Hey, that's enough. Why is there always the so much tension between the two main go, characters? I realized that time. in a lot of the, the animes that I've been watching. From every monitoring station. So where there's that tension between the two main characters. Uh, what did I just get done watching? Kaza, Kaza no Stigma? That was uh, pretty cool. Okay, we'll explain a bit about this place. It's imaginary space. So it's cyberspace, or the Matrix. Depending on which you want to take a swing at there. Yeah, objects that can be detonated. Apparently I didn't understand that, so... I like the blue one to destroy it and then shoot it. Okay, so here's the actual game part of the game. Is that, uh, like some of the other games that you might have played, the monsters are actually walking around. And if you blow the things up, it can actually cause damage to them. You can also blow things up, and occasionally there'll be items in there. The They are your boxes and your red barrels. Which I guess some of them are literally red barrels, so... And you can try and run away. I failed. Because I forgot to run up the thing, so we're going to do another combat. Now, apparently those two guys were just kind of hanging out, hiding. So at this point, I'm real fascinated with the, uh... Oh, and I've already forgotten what they're called. The boost things. She's just awesome. I still want the... I'm probably going to talk about it every episode, just so you know. But there is an awesome figure of her. Uh, that it's something ridiculous, like 70 bucks. I mean, it's not ridiculous, because it is awesome, but it's kind of cool. I would actually like, it's like the, like the old, oh, like the old Robotech action figures. Like, those would be kind of cool just to have a bunch of these guys. I don't know. But yeah, I've still got the boost thing. Still really... There. I did it. I don't know what it does. 
I really need to go back and redo that tutorial or read the instruction manual or something. Arm blade! I kind of wonder if... And I did look, but I don't think I found... My external appearance is down 5%. I need to be cleaned. It's kind of freaky. And another med kit. I actually do start using those later on. Uh, just because I realized that I'm not as good at this game as I thought I was. So that was kind of a rude awakening. And the monsters come back. That's an important thing to know. I did not know that. The good thing is that they can't follow downstairs. Aha, uh -huh, I found the ladder. Ladders are a little weird. Because if you'll notice, you go up the ladder and then you get off to the side. Yeah, so I set the guy on fire. Which apparently is good. And you don't open the door, you just blow it up. Cause she on that's just how she rolls. At a certain point I kinda feel bad for these guys. Cause I mean they're fighting a super soldier and a brainiac with a mechanical arm. So it's just not fair. And he explodes in a plume of blood. Oh, I forgot how much I love that. I would actually dress as one of the guys, one of these bad guys, in the weird little yellow jumpsuits for Halloween. That would be kind of fun, but it would take too much explaining. Get my wife to dress as Cosmos. No, that would never happen. But yeah. Here we go, killing more people. This is actually a really boring game to do kind of a playthrough of. I mean, it's kind of cool and it does get fascinating later on. But the opening... Then again, it's a, it's a Japanese RPG. So... I guess I'll take... You know, it, it has the standard... Oh, wait. The, the first two hours are slow but then it gets really good. And that's kind of the case here, too. I'm trying to figure out how to open a chest. Can I do it? There we go! Yay! And I got two med kits. Once again, going down the stairs. The When I was on... When I got to go on, on, on a boat for the Navy, the ladders were kind of like that, is that you got off the sides. And the reason that they did that is because they didn't want you to... It, it makes you easier to get on and off the ladder. And that time I actually learned how to run by him. And I learned to pause. And at this point I was trying to figure out how to save, but uh, something happened. And so there's some footage that's lost here. Now, hopefully we didn't miss too much. And when we pick up on the other side, uh, I believe I had actually just wandered a little farther in. And now these guys are going to do something. Replacing targets with Type-G drones. Commencing display. Oh, that's right. They churned them from crawling little spiders into dancing robots. Got it. Yeah, and the little yellow thing you see behind is a save spot. If you remember those, you actually have to go to a save spot. So apparently the things that I'm walking around cannot see me, so if I walk really slow, they won't hear... Excuse me, they won't hear me. So 
So saving, if you remember this from the, there we go. Now I have a save file. You have no clue how happy I was to actually see this. Because in case you haven't noticed, as you've been watching, except for the lost footage, we've been at this for well over an hour now. And that's the first time I found a save point. And the save points are not, not very many. There are only a handful of them. In case you haven't noticed, I have trouble navigating at the first part of this. Because I'm a moron. I keep walking back and forth. Yeah. I hope you guys are used to that by now, is that I just... Walking is not my forte. Oh look, pills. God, could you imagine if those were to scale? They're bigger than her head. Alright, a door. Now these I haven't figured out yet. I guess they are secret hidey places? And it sounds like from what I've uh, read and some guy will explain... Oh crap. Well, now we know that monsters can hide in barrels. Or crates. These drones are a little harder. Still can't go into the AGWS or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Apparently nothing. I was playing this with my son, so occasionally he tries to talk to me, and I freeze up on playing. And since I decided not to cut any of this out, except for the part that I lost, uh, we're just going to roll with it. Yeah, these guys are a little bigger, but they still suck at aiming. I do like the sound. I'll go ahead and drop out the next time that they attack so that you guys can hear the... just the, the good sound. Alright, here they come. Oh yeah, that's the sound I'm talking about. It just kind of... I don't know, it sounds good. I love the, the feel that they've got going in this game. Here's where I actually learned to use my ether, which is challenging. It kind of reminds me... Uh, I'm going to say it again. Uh, Alright, this game is Final Fantasy in space. I just, it is. Or maybe it's just that Final Fantasy is the game that I remember the most. The graphics are really pretty, though. I like them. They've got nice effects. The characters actually hit each other, which is above what the original Final Fantasy had. And I must say, the little... The little way that they've got it, where they've got the spinner, so different things do different things. And then you can store up to six attack points. And you can do the the boost thing. Still don't know what it does. But it's kind of nice that you can kind of bounce back and forth and do all that crazy stuff. And also it shows the little attacky things. It shows a line. This is where I figure out Shion is my healer. Sort of. Open ether circuits. And that little foil, the little Healy spell circle, it always reminds me of uh, the Trapper Keepers. Because I had this awesome Trapper Keeper, and it was uh, a Transformers Trapper Keeper, and all of the metal parts were foil. So when you were looking at the, the outside, like all the metal parts were like super shiny, 
and it was just really, really sweet. I miss Trapper Keepers. I wish, you know what I wish? I wish as a grown-up we had briefcases with as much style as Trapper Keepers did. Think how cool that would be going to work if you had like a giant flaming red briefcase that had a skateboard and a guitar on it. How awesome would that be? Yeah, this is where I, I just, I'm getting my butt kicked here because I did not know what to expect. Going from here on out, I kind of do. So I'm in a little better shape going forward, but there we go. Now I think. Has this guy gone nuts yet? No, that might be a different battle later on. Yeah. The enemies have been exterminated. The enemies have been exterminated. You are parked in an illegal area. You have 20 seconds to comply. She's like the hot version of Ed 209. Well. She's at 209 anyways. Chief, items aren't the only things inside the containers. Her, her, thanks for the heads up, Alan. Alan is useful to a point, but... Time to do some med kits. Oh, one too many. Crap. Oh well. So those are all gone now. And if you look at the little boxes that were in the middle, those are where the... It shows where the characters are. This is a dead end. Sooner or later I should learn that. Yeah, the doors don't open automatically. You actually have to walk up through them and push a button, which really disturbs me at times. We've obtained the mission key. Now we can unlock the door. Oh yeah, you guys missed the door that I couldn't open. The lock has been removed. Whoa. What the crap is that thing? All right, let's not find out. Okay. Nope. I suck at this. If you walk, they don't see you. I gotta get the warning thing to go away, though. It is a little nicer than Metal Gear, though. Okay, so here we are. Now I'm gonna walk. A walk. There we go. See, now we're walking. And they can't see us because we're walking. And if I run, he can hear me, but all that noise walking on the grate, opening the door, doesn't hear that. And it's a jack-in-the-box! Just what I always wanted. Here we go. Look at me! I'm dancing! I'm dancing! What's going on? A brand new network is being created within the Cosmos mainframe. We've never had a reaction like this before. This is incredible. I've never seen a net grow so fast. <laughs> Look at it, sir. Portions of the insect. Bet you that's what you say to all the ladies. I've never seen my net grow this fast. Alan, I'm going to engage the target. Make sure you capture all the data. What? 
You cannot engage right now. You're tapped into Cosmos perception. It's too unstable. Don't worry. We can pull it off. What do you mean, don't worry? Chief! What do you mean, don't worry? Chief! Chief! Oh, I just thought of a great thing to do. I want to intercut Alan and Master Chief talking to each other. Chief! 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 Ah, that would entertain me. For the whole minute that I would actually do it. Ow? I like that they're not just static animations, but... Man, I don't like the wavy arm things either. Yeah, that doesn't do it a lot. Watching this, I'm really impressed that this game survived at all, there being mostly female protagonists. Or robot protagonists. Because I just thought, like, when she did the gun arm, I was like, oh yeah, Mega Man. Wait a minute. Why is there. I mean, there's never a Mega Girl. Or is there? Did it, maybe, I, I don't know, I haven't played it since. Mega Man 4? And even then it was one of those things where I was like, um... I pretty much just uh, pa tapped at the controller for a little bit and then threw it on the floor and walked away. Mega Man 2 is kind of where I checked out. Played Mega Man 1, that was freaking hard. Played Mega Man 2 and I was like, okay, this is, this is hard but I understand it. Beat it and then tried to play Mega Man 2 and they gave me a dog that could turn into a platform. And I just really didn't care. Level up. We are now level three. Awesome. So level three, that means we get uh, access to the car and a monkey. What? Chief, you're supposed to follow the program. Cosmos, activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. Uh -oh. I knew this would happen. Status. This is bad. Something's wrong in the encephalon. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. What? What about the chief? Chief, you're in danger. Get out of there now. Hold on! Just a little longer! Chief! Nerve impulses in the limbic system! We've got Kinley! That's enough! Shut Kinley? Down. Isn't that what we start fires with? There now. Roger. I just... I don't know. Shut down command. It's been rejected! The Chief's overriding us! Oh Which yeah! From here. That wacky what? Chief! Ten seconds to encephalon collapse! Sir! Damn it! And the big bad monster. He's melting, melting into a cute little girl. Chief! And with that, we end part two. Part three will be up next week. And thank you very much for watching. As always, play on!